This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Today we're going to see how we can create the stutter effect in Final Cut Pro 10 without any plugins required. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this one. Let's go now into Final Cut Pro 10. For the first one, we're going to use the woman who is doing yoga. And remember that this kind of effect is working best with an orbit shot or with a drone shot that we will see later on. So let's begin. Let's say that we want here to begin the shutter effect. I'm going to press B on my keyboard and cut where my point is for the start. And I'm going to go where the shutter effect want to end. Again, I'm going to blade it with a B select on my keyboard. I'm going to press A, select this, and then I'm going to press on my keyboard Command R. That way I can easily go and change the speed. Now I'm going to zoom in on, into my timeline and I'm going to go to the beginning of the carriage section and with the right arrow in my keyboard, I will count one, two, three frames. And I'm going to take now the speed by clicking here and turn it to the left so I can have it on the place with the three frames. Then I'm going to select this. I'm going to press Command C on my keyboard and I'm going to go next to it and press Command V and Command V to paste it two times. Now, if I want to make it a little bit more interesting, I will go into the transitions. I will drag the cross dissolve and I'm going to place it at the end of the copied clips. And the final result is going to look like this. Now I have placed the second clip with the drone. Again, the same process. I'm going to start the stutter effect here. I'm pressing B on my keyboard and I'm cutting. And let's say that I'm going to finish it near the end here. I'm blading again. I'm selecting this portion. I'm going to press Command R, change the speed. And before changing the speed, I will count one, two, three frames with my right arrow on the keyboard. And this is where I want the change of the speed to be. Again, I'm selecting now this part, Command C to copy, Command V to paste. And this time we're going to do something extra as well. I'm going to take the third copied Command C, Command V, I'm going to paste it one more time. I'm going to click this clip and lift it from storyline. I'm going to put it between the second and the third clip. And I'm going to change the opacity here in the inspector panel of the one that we lifted from the storyline to, let's say, 50%. And the result is going to look like this. Let me take a moment now to talk about Squarespace. If you don't know who Squarespace is, Squarespace is an all in one platform to build your own website or get a domain. You can choose between plenty of uh, high-end designers' templates that you can use them as your structure and start building your own website from scratch without having any knowledge at all at web design and web developing. If you're a photographer or videographer, you already know that having a website is a must. And what is the best way to showcase your portfolio than presenting in your own website with your own domain name. So head over to squarespace.com slash Emilio. You can try it for free first. And when you're ready to buy, you can use the coupon code Emilio and get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Let's continue now to the tutorial. Also, as a final step, we can add some glitch effect sound effects to make the stutter effect complete and stand out. You can find plenty of uh, glitch sound effects if you try and search in YouTube or Google. There are free options there and also if you have any premium service with music license, you can also have glitch sounds as well. But also if you check my other videos for glitch effects, you will find some sound effects that you can use for your projects. Now that you got the idea, you can be as much creative as you want. You can have more than three starter effect copy pasted clips so you can have the starter effect to take longer or you can either start from the beginning of the clip, just after the beginning, and cut it just before the end, so you will have a bigger change on the stutter effect. 
I hope you found this video helpful and you learned something new today. And if you did, as I said in the beginning, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and if you have any questions, I'm waiting for them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emilio Takas, and I will see you in the next video.